This is a tribute to Yang Haiying, probably one of the most inspirational and happy people on the entire YouTube community. I have not found anybody else from China or anywhere else who is so enthusiastic about life, who opens their hearts so wide to their viewers and subscribers, and whose work is such an incredible explosion of colour in so many diverse fields, silk, paper, painting, making tea, dancing, singing, and a whole multitude of uh, peculiar little uh, interesting videos, one of which really made me laugh, which was putting soap in a microwave and watching it froth up into a great big uh, mountain of hand cream. That really was something that um, I thought was, <laughs> well, adventurous to say the least. So, Yang Haiying, her work is beautiful. She also has uh, several online shops and stores. You could, these pictures that you see there of silks, and they're for sale on her site. And she also sells seal stones and paintbrushes and shoe and paper and seal mud and all the beautiful things that uh, the Chinese arts are involved with, the four treasures. She travels to China once in a while and sees some of the masters there who carve these seal stones and brings them back and puts them onto her store. Very beautiful. The quality is very lovely. The prices are as well. Recently, I was a little disappointed um, to see some negatives against her name from people who profess one thing, but who, shall we say, act on another. And really the bottom line of, of Chinese art, which you'll find in a lot of Haiying's work, in fact most of it, is that energy that you get from the inner spirit. And the Chinese master that taught me Chinese painting, his words were exactly what I see in Yang Haiying's work, and also um, the Reverend Yao Feng Shaki, I see it in his work as well. And the lesson that I was given was, listen to your spirit. Let your spirit guide your brush on the paper. When you want to put a seal stone against the paper, listen to where your spirit says that seal mark should go. When you paint a picture of a flower, paint the flower exactly as you feel it should be painted on the paper. And the lesson to me that was most important of all was, if you paint a tree, if that tree only consists of three lines, let those three lines represent the way that tree made you feel. And if other people come along, and if they can't see the strength and spirit that you felt when you saw that tree through your painting, they cannot hear their own spirits. Chinese painting, the whole art of Chinese painting, it involves so much history, so many thousands of years before even the West had finished slapping paint on cave walls. The Chinese were already painting and drawing these beautiful characters, which is their language and their writing. It's one of the most incredibly diverse and beautiful fields, and the work that I see in Yang Haiying's sites reflect this a lot to me, that wonderful spirit and simplicity with that lovely Chinese flavor. It was only through these uh, antagonistic and spiteful, jealous attacks uh, against Yang Haiying it was because of those that I suddenly sat back and thought, well, hang on, let's, let's actually take a look and, and see what Yang Haiying is up to at the moment. And she has many sites and blogs and items for sale. And I thought that this actually could be really pushed forwards into something quite spectacular. So I started uh, looking at uh, the other side of my life, which is animation engineering. And here we can see some stills, some trials of a movie that I'm putting together, which is a 10 minute short which will be effectively silent, so it'll be music and visuals and sound effects. No language, so it will work in any country. And I asked Yang Haiying for five paintings and then five more, and recently I got another five 
to put along with three sets of five of my paintings and they're inside this beautifully animated virtual world and it'll be a movie which celebrates not really my work but mostly Yang Haiing's work but primarily it's supposed to bring Chinese art under the nose of the people in Europe who are so China blind it is infuriating. These pictures here, these are Yang's paintings that you can see and these are parts of the models of the flags for the animation. These are mapped onto 3D objects and gently flap in the wind and that video will be ready within the month. So I've been working very hard on that and now it's got to the point where I'm ready to start pushing the final output. And here we can see uh, Yang's flags in situ in the village which now has beautiful trees, beautiful flowers, gentle winds, blue skies, summer sun, lots of lovely lighting. There's another scene which is not this medieval village but it's uh, a fantasy toadstool village. And there's another scene which is a very powerful scene uh, associated with a story I wrote in 1981 and it's a Skylander ship which is effectively like a, a beautiful galleon flying through the skies but it's actually made of a huge rock and it protects the every tree and the every tree comes down to earth once every 10,000 years spreads its seeds and the seeds explode and grow into paintings and this is what's going on it'll be ready in a month right back in the beginning, and I've only been painting for 10 months, I've never picked up a paintbrush in my life before. I've only been painting for 10 months. Way back a year and three months ago, I started talking to Yang Haiing and said, what is this all about, what can I do? And with her advice, I finally made very slow contact of some very beautiful Chinese people across the face of the earth, from America to China. And after a year, I finally got the bits and pieces together and found that I had the materials, the authentic Chinese materials, to start painting. But Yang Haiing was the initial inspiration for all of this. So a big thank you to Yang Haiing. Bless your heart and look out for the animation. It's on its way. Thanks again for listening and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Bye bye now.